And so for any general reaction, if you want to calculate the rate of that reaction, let's say that our reaction is in the form of this formula right here, where we have A moles of A reacting with B moles of B to produce C moles of C and D moles of D, the rate is going to be equal to all of these different quantities over here, right? So it's going to be equal to minus 1 over lowercase a times the... Uh, the quotient of, uh, of the change in concentration of A over delta T, which is equal to minus 1 over B times delta concentration of B over delta T, which is equal to 1 over C, no negative sign, remember, because C and D are products, so you don't use the negative sign with products. You don't, have, you don't need to because the change in concentration of a product is already positive, so there's no need to, to multiply it by a negative number. Uh, 1 over C times delta concentration of C over delta T, uh, which is also equal to 1 over D times delta concentration of D over delta T. So this is a really uh, good formula. If you understand it, um, you can use it to calculate uh, reaction rates, which is what we're going to do right about now. So uh, by the way, I apologize. The previous slide, my <laughs> I just realized my, uh, my webcam capture was kind of... Uh, overlapping uh, part of that last part of that formula there. So anyway, so this problem says to consider the following reaction where we have two moles of N2O gas reacting to form two moles of N2 and one mole of O2. And it says in the first 15 seconds of this reaction, 0.021 moles of O2 was produced in a reaction vessel with a volume of 0 0.310 liters. And it asks us, what is the average rate of the reaction over this time interval? So, as you might be guessing, we're going to use this formula right here, right? So we have this reaction here, and um, of course the important pieces of information I've, I've written in red, right? And so, as you can imagine, we're going to be using the formula, um, the rate, uh, I'll just put it here. The rate is equal to, in this case, we're talking about uh, oxygen, which is a product, right? Oxygen is a product, so we're not going to use the negative. Uh, and also, that 1 over the coefficient term uh, becomes, mm, let's just say that, that that term becomes mathematically unnecessary here because the understood coefficient in front of this oxygen is 1, so it would be 1 over 1 times, you get the idea, right? We don't have to include that term because because uh, it's, it's all 1s, right? So really, the rate is going to be uh, delta oxygen concentration, O2 in brackets, divided by delta T. Now, in this case, um, it's pretty straightforward, right? Delta T is, uh, is 15 seconds, that's just given by the problem. Uh, but delta concentration of O2, um, that's not quite uh, as easy. We have to do a little bit of work to get to that. So it gives us the amount of oxygen that's produced in moles, and it gives us the volume of the reaction vessel in liters. And so earlier when we were talking about concentration, um, we understood that the concentration of something, or yeah, the, the concentration of something, the molar concentration is simply uh, moles per liter, moles divided by liters. And so if, if we want to get the change, I'll just write it in over here, the change in the oxygen concentration, well, that's going to be the oxygen concentration at um, let's just say T2, right? And the minus the oxygen concentration at T1. Uh, looks like I'm a little bit off the page here. Um, let's see if I can... Uh, I'm going to try to lasso this in here so I can move it a little bit for you guys. Uh, all right, I'm going to undo that. Bear with me here not super experienced with this software, so 
I expect there to be some chemical difficulties. Someone already has uh, <laughs> has submitted an answer. Thank you, Amit Kumar Malik. I really, really appreciate your participation. Thank you very much uh, for your answer, right? And so, um, and also please pardon my um, terrible handwriting. So the change, the delta concentration of oxygen is the uh, final concentration of oxygen or the concentration of oxygen after 15 seconds uh, minus the initial. Now, the initial concentration of the oxygen is simply zero because in the very beginning of the reaction, you didn't have any, right? It wasn't formed yet. So we can simply cross this out from the formula. So the change in, oxy in uh, oxygen concentration is simply going to be the oxygen concentration at time two, right? Which is simply going to be equal to, I'll go back, I'll go back to the blue pen here, equal to the uh, amount of oxygen in moles, which is 0 0.021 moles, divided by the volume of the reaction vessel, which is 0 0.310 liters, right? And so 0 0.021 divided by 0 0.310. You know, it's funny, I actually didn't even bring my own calculator to prepare for this. <laughs> and I haven't solved this yet ahead of time. So if you bear with me, I'm just gonna bang this, uh, this calculation out. Uh, 0 0.021 divided by 0 0.31. Okay, and so it's gonna have uh, three significant figures. So that concentration is going to be Feel free to uh, correct me on this if I'm wrong, but that concentration is going to be 0 0.0677, and that's moles per liter. So I'm going to circle that in this rainbow here. <laughs> All right. So 0 0.0677 moles per liter. And so now that we have that piece of information, we can simply um, plug that in as uh, the numerator in this, in this formula up here, right? And so switching back to my black pen here, we're gonna get that the rate is equal to, so that delta concentration of O2, we just determined that that's 0 0.0677 moles per liter. And another way to, by the way, another way to represent moles per liter is just a capital M for molar. So moles per liter and capital M, uh, those are the same thing. So oftentimes you'll see, you'll see this capital M because it's a lot easier to, to write that than it is moles per liter. So 0 0.0677 moles per liter divided by the change in time, which of course is 15 seconds. And let's see if Amit Kumar Malik is correct. I'm about to double check your math on that. So 0 0.0677 divided by 15. And the number that I got was 0 0.0045. That is right. Amit Kumar Malik, uh, great job. And that, what's the unit? Oh, see, I, you know what? I have, to, I have to withdraw what I just said. You didn't get the answer right. Because in order for the answer to be right, it has to be the number and the unit, right? 0 0.0045 what? Apples? Bananas? Oranges? Light ears? <laughs> In this case, the unit of the rate is going to be moles per liter per second. Now that's kind of a, a clunky uh, unit to have to write all the time. And so oftentimes people will use the term, uh, I'll just put rate up here, is gonna be equal to, uh, or the units of rate rather, are going to be molar per second right? So I'm just going to uh, highlight this real quick. So moles per liter per second, and 
molar per second, those are those are equivalent because moles per liter is equivalent to molar, right? So hopefully uh, this problem um, was helpful or the solution of this problem uh, going step by step uh, was helpful and I, uh, I appreciate uh, your attention so far. Okay. Hey, hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to watch the full video from which this clip was taken, click the box over there on the left. And if you'd like to watch my entire chemical kinetics playlist, click the box on the right. Thank you very much for watching and take care.